Hey Curl Divas! So as promised, I went to get that Diva Cut from Michael Salon over in Miamisburg, Ohio. Um, it's a suburb of Dayton if you don't live in this area. And I'm going to do a review of my experience. I didn't get to tape my experience, um, but I'm just going to kind of recap and tell you what my experience was like. So I showed up for my appointment and my appointment was with Michelle. She is a considered a master stylist as well as a diva train special specialist. Um, she was highly recommended because she has um, mixed daughters, so she's used to dealing with uh, highly curly and textured hair, even semi-ethnic hair. And so um, I go in, and um, the salon is as beautiful as ever. I was offered water and lemonade, and basically I sat for about ten minutes before her assistant came to get to get me. And when I got there, she was actually working on someone else's hair. So I sat in her chair while the assistant um, kind of pre uh, prepped me. And so uh, when Michelle finally comes over, she looks at my hair, which is so funny, as if she had seen something like the heels have eyes. And um, she went to touch it, and she basically lifted it and said that um, the diva cut was not going to work for my hair texture, that my hair was um, too fractile and too, too many curls to cut curl by curl not sure what that means because before diva cut became a phenomenon um, I went in Columbus and had my hair cut and the girl there sprayed me down and she cut my hair curl by curl so um, I thought surely this diva trained um, master stylist would be able to do the same thing but she couldn't she then proceeded to um, run around the salon looking for other diva trained stylists um, that would take on the task of cutting my hair. Um, but she made it very clear that a diva cut would not work for my hair texture, my hair length, and um, the products would not work in someone who has hair like mine. Which um, I then spent 20 minutes showing her various YouTube videos, including Mahogany Knots um, and others. I then took her to the diva website. Uh, Diva Sean website where she has two African American stylists who actually work in her salon who do the cut and use the products. I then showed her um, some of the other videos on natural forums and she still tried to convince me that this just wasn't for me. Um, so 45 minutes later another woman said that she would really like to try the products on my hair to see what it would do and so she, um, I was actually shifted over to a, a stylist who was not diva trained named Terry and Terry um, basically because she wasn't um, styled in the technique of diva cutting she cut my hair wet but she did an angle cut and I've had an angle cut before it's basically where they just round at the top and taper it in a little bit so then when it grows it grows longer on the sides than it does in the back so it has some shape so I'll show you what the back looks like um, and I have it pinned out of my face. Um, the other thing, um, Terry was great. Um, like I said, she wasn't diva trained, so I don't technically have it. I mean, I don't have a diva cut at all. I'll make that clear. Um, she did use the diva products, but um, Michelle really kept telling her, like, that would be a use of a lot of products for her hair, and it's not going to work on her hair because of her texture and her curl type. Um, even if you go to the trainings, um, the training school they will tell you that the diva cut is more for girls who have spiral curled hair or wavy hair and um, you know she, she was really kind of bothering me and I just told her like if you don't feel comfortable doing my hair I would rather you say that than discredit the book um, because of course I didn't tell her I had read both the books and I had been doing the curly girl method um, for about five six months now so I'm perfectly I'm probably more knowledgeable about um, Lorraine Massey at this point than she is because I'm accountable to you all and so um, they did not shampoo my hair uh, as of Michelle's recommendation but they wet my hair completely saturated it and then they put in the Diva One conditioner and then she began to shape my hair as it was in its wet state so basically that's my experience when I left 
um, Terry comped the service. She didn't charge me for the service because um, basically I, I, did, I went in there for one thing and I didn't get it. Um, I went in there to, uh, specifically for the Diva Curl products and I didn't get that. Um, I had a good experience with Terry though. Um, her assistant, however, her intern, that's another story. Why the girl was very nice, she knows nothing about curly hair. And, um, you know, people refer to them as the shampoo girls. And um, she washed my hair after the cut. Well, she didn't wash it. She rinsed my hair after the cut. And what she did was she, um, she failed to remove all the hair that was cut, the ends that were cut. And so the ends um, were still on the ends of my hair, some of them. So some of the knots um, were still on the ends of my hair. And then um, as she put the product in, instead of pulling the hair down and encouraging the curls to elongate, what she actually did was pat the hair on my head to like round out an afro. And so when I got to the chair, I actually had to show her like with thicker hair and ethnic hair, you don't want it encourage it to the scalp because then you'll have a matted mess. So I end up actually having to style my own hair after the products were put in. So that was odd. So I guess yeah you really can't, you know, afford to charge if um if I'm really doing my own hair. But the cut was decent. I've had an angle cut before and um if you can't do the diva cut or you don't have anyone there in your town that can get that find someone who can cut curly hair in an angle cut. That's the old school way of cutting it. And um, like I said, a lot of people can cut curly hair in that particular um, way. So my experience at Michael's, um, for future reference, I will go and have my eyebrows arched, which is where I've been going for the past two years. However, I would not go back um, for anything with regards to my hair because even the people who have curly hair there don't wear it curly. They have about 30 stylists and I saw 20, maybe 18 there yesterday and none of them were wearing their hair in their curly state. Very few were even wearing it wavy. So how in the world they can um, consider themselves a diva um, approved salon is beyond me except for they went to the workshop to learn how to actually do the cut. As far as knowledge of the products, um, the, the girls that came by my, where I was sitting at the station by me, they didn't have knowledge of the products. Um, the girl that washed my hair, I don't even think she even read the book um, because they kept referring to the girl in their own salon and how she had been doing the diva, the, the diva way. And I was like, yeah, the curly girl method. I know what that is. And um, she couldn't even tell me the, um, the author. She couldn't tell me that she was from England. So they're trained, um, probably because they went to the workshop, but in essence, um, girls, I don't recommend them. So I'll keep looking for a stylist that can cut curly girl in our area, and I'll get back to you. Stay tuned for part two of this video, because um, of my next video, because I'm actually going to review the Diva Curl products I did buy the sample trial travel pack. So I'm going to review that and do a video on that as well. All right, ladies, talk to you later. Bye.